Hey guys, it's me Quakeski. Today we'll be playing Chivalry 2 and I'm showing you a night gameplay. So the knight has three subclasses. It's going to be the crusader, an officer, and a guardian. So this video that I'm showing to you is the game gameplay for a crusader. The crusader is mainly using a long sword and another weapon for his secondary is another big weapon long sword or a different one and usually the crusader has a skill of igniting the land with an oil pot so it really helps you know it really helps when you're trying to cram the space with a lot of people and you're just gonna try and burn down your enemies You see this gameplay, the knight is really slow, he's heavy but he looks menacing, he looks cool. But yeah, when you're trying to swing down a really heavy weapon, usually it takes some time before you hit something. Nothing oh, doing. by the way, this gameplay is from, from an offline gameplay. Because it's hard to play and show you guys what I'm been, I want to show you when you're playing with other people. Because most of the time I slow down, I take my time in the menu and look at what I'm gonna what look at what the statistics is. It's currently in the menu, you don't see it. There's nothing in the menu that says the stats of the of the characters that you're playing. So uh, another thing for the knight, for the for the crusader, the crusader can throw knives. And that is a good thing because it's mainly for offensive type of players. So most of his skills are for offense, killing people and stuff. Oops. But look, look at this gameplay because it's offline and all I'm playing with is an AI. You only need to take them one hit. So I found a tip that whenever Whenever you hit your enemies on the head, it does a headshot and it's just one, one, one swing at the face and then you'll be winning. But in actual gameplay, you don't. You usually, it's just gonna be 50-50. So this is how you do it in your first person. I don't like doing first person because it feels like a... Yeah, I'm throwing knives now. I'm finding it hard to see what's happening around me when you're playing in first person. I like the advantage of a third person for myself. But when it, the the negative effects of playing in first person is that um, you don't see the screen, you don't see the angle of pros, you can see what happening, what's happening. So yeah, I think I'm gonna be sticking to to the third person view later. Look at this graphics, really good. See that? You don't see what's happening on your side, that's the thing with this game. See? I didn't realize that there's already an enemy looking at me. That's why third person is really, yeah, really good for, for this type of games. So now guys, I'm showing you the gameplay of playing a officer so the officer is the first one that you unlock at the, at the beginning so it has a war horn the war horn heals your teammates when you're playing uh every time that you use it but every time you block that's the time you recharge the war horn and then another weapon for this type of character is that you have a throwing knife instead of a throwing axe the throwing axe is for the crusader so basically, it's the same with the Crusader, except that the Crusader has a lot more offensive potential. This one is more balanced, that so you need to mix it up. That's about enough. But basically, their health, their speed, and their stamina is all the same. Alright, next that I will be showing to you guys is the guardian gameplay so the guardian has the only knight with a shield and it's really good you know it's it's good at defending there's a lot of potential with defending in this one so every time that you're trying to hold the line 
So trying to hold the capture point. Beast Knight is really the best one. Because the skill that he has is a banner. The banner heals the people around you. So basically that's what you need to set up when you're fighting. <laughs> I died. And yeah, with the shield and the and the banner, you're going to sur survive a lot more in those areas. So you, basically you cannot remove your shield in your in, in your inventory unless you throw it in your enemies. Yeah, just be mindful that when you throw a weapon, the first thing that you're going to throw is your your shield, which is really, you know, which is really funny because you're trying to show, throw your shield instead of your weapon, but the, the shield cannot be, you know, there's not a lot of uh, classes that use shields, and then there's not a lot of people who can use the shield like that one. So I haven't tried it yet, but we're not sure. I think I'm going to take a look at it later or next time so yeah the crusader is also slow but a good thing about the crusader is you can stand much more so basically this is your tank tank in the game and look at that war hammer axe that has been going around <laughs> it's mainly when you're trying to hit somebody in the head it's gonna be devastating that a blunt blunt flow to the head it's going to be crushing defeat look at that so yeah so it varies with the officer because the officer is quite versatile but this one is not because you only got a shield there's no point in throwing stuff but yeah this is one of my favorites it's really good in defending So next one that I will be showing to you guys is the Crusader gameplay. So now in this video, it's I already took on a different map, but it's still AI. So the Crusader is the one who's wielding a really long blade and that throws a throwing knife. And if you look at the skill that the Crus Crusader has, the Crusader has an oil pot. Uh, the oil pot can ignite the land or your enemies and burn them so everybody that passes around them teammate you or your enemy is gonna be burned down so take note and be careful in using that one so good thing about the crusader it got it has the one you know because it's a knight it has 175 hp that means it's gonna take a lot of damage before it goes down and it does deal heavy damage as well but the did he negative part is that it's really slow when hitting um you can't really feel how slow it is but when you're playing it like this you see I i'm quickly to run but every swing takes some time like it's winding up so you can compromise and do the hitting part in here just move your move your hips so you can already attack the enemy in the shortest amount of time as possible um, yeah, so this is the uh, Crusader gameplay that I'm showing to you guys. The other weapon, the secondary weapon that he has is also a main weapon. It's uh, just smaller for his one hand. So usually they, usually what's going to happen is that the primary weapon is a two-handed sword. And the, the secondary is just a one-handed sword with a shield or something. But usually it's not a shield. So I think it's better to click the throwing knife as a weapon. Throwing knife as a weapon. That means that you'll be having your secondary weapon and your throwing knife in your weapon. So yeah, this is the gameplay for the Crusader. And I hope you guys will like it. Uh, so overall, just a recap. So the knight is the tank variant of the characters, of the classes. And the knight has three subclasses. The knight has crusader, the the oh, what do you call this one? The crusader, the officer, and the guardian. So basically, your tank team 
uh, it's really versatile it's one of the per one of the characters or classes that's gonna get you survive for a long time while you're playing chivalry 2 all right that's it for this video guys thank you and i'm gonna continue playing crusader and show you the other tips and the workarounds of this game all right see ya thanks for watching guys and if you like the video please smash hard on the like and if you want more content like this please do subscribe check out my channel check out my other videos that way you can help this channel to grow that way getting more inspired to do more content like this i promise i won't be that annoying only for your pleasure of learning new games and watching new gameplay to pick your interest any tips to the game please do comment to let me know how to improve gameplay the video and the channel itself that's it see you on the next video guys thank you